Persistence is something that everybody probably would like to show and as a skill, but not many people do because a lot of people I find in sport now and out of sport don't like to come out of their comfort zone. Um, you have to dig deep for something. Nothing comes easily. And in terms of an example for me in my athletic career, I had many injuries and I had to dig deep many times and come back from those injuries. And I had training partners and people that weren't prepared to do that because they couldn't be bothered or they didn't believe in themselves. An example, I had one injury, I was one of the fastest women in the world and I, I had to have an operation. I had what's called a Beckham boot, one of those big moon boots that goes up to your knee because I had an operation on my foot. And I was feeling very sorry for myself and I spent three days on the couch in my house because I tried to get up the stairs and I fell down it one day so I wasn't going back upstairs to sleep. So I slept on the couch for three days. I didn't eat anything or want to move in any shape or form. You have two voices in your head. Well, I did, and it can't just be me. You have these voices, don't you, where one of them saying, feel sorry for yourself, don't worry, you're always injured, poor you. But then you have another voice in your head, I find, where you sort yourself out. You have a good and a bad voice. For me, it was always going to be, and it is for me, for anybody, which voice are you going to listen to? I had my team around me who were ringing me, make sure you're doing A, B, C and D, 10 out of 10 all the time from a wonderful team that I put around me. I was probably given one or two out of 10 tops. But then I thought, no, you know what? I can do it another way. I can achieve a goal that I have set myself. I just have to think outside the box and come out my comfort zone. So to cut a long story short, I couldn't walk, I couldn't drive, but I could call a taxi and I could go down to the training ground and I could have my coach, Linford Christie, and my training partner, Darren Campbell, laughing at me as I fall out of a taxi on crutches. What are you doing here? I can't run, but I can do something else. And I went in the gym and I adapted. You have to be persistent, you have to think out the box, you have to come out of your comfort zone and you have to really want to do that.